Okay, today we're going to assemble a reverse cam secondary. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but if you look on each one of the sheaves, there's a timing mark right here. That's for balancing. You see they put these holes in here. That's how they balance the clutch. And the same over here. See, there's a timing mark on this one as well. These are spacing shims for proper belt deflection. Sometimes you'll have to put it together a couple times to make sure you have the proper deflection. So, now we're going to put it together. Okay, now see when you put it together, this mark here is there. And then this mark here is there. So then it's properly assembled. During assembly, I like to take an old helix because when you're trying to work on it, it's flipping like this. You take an old helix, you flip it upside down, you set the clutch on it, you're good to go. So now you want to put the helix in there. Put your couple drops of blue light Loctite on the helix. Start your bolts. Okay, now I run these in about 90%. That's about all I do. And you don't want to tighten them with a air tool or an electric tool or anything else. You want to tighten them by hand. And you put your clutch cover or your clutch spring back in there. Normally most stock settings is a center hole, so you put it in the center hole. Then you rotate this a quarter turn, and then you put your nuts on it. I know this clutch is dirty. I'm just doing it for instructional purposes. It's just a spare clutch I got laying around. And you want to tighten them down uniformly. Don't crank one side down. Okay, and the only reason I tighten them 90% of the way down is because I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen how you can just spin two rollers and one roller will be tight. So once you put it together, take and give it a snap. What that's going to do is that's going to center the helix on the clutch. Then once you get in there, then you want to take and tighten them up. Now your rollers are all tight. There you go. 